Since we have launched Dividend Pro Team Builder, we constantly keep expanding the features and we are adding more and more layout state. This time we are happy to present sticky bars. When you go to Dividend Pro and select Team Builder, inside the filters options, you are now going to see sticky bars. Check that and all the sticky bars section designs uh, will be filtered. If you haven't guessed already what this is, I'm going to show you in a moment. In order to use these sticky bars, save the ones that you like the most. You can save a single sticky bar or you can save several if you would like to change them later. I have saved these first three and now what you want to do is to click this button here to go to WordPress Customizer toggle Dividend Pro settings and then toggle sticky bar. From the drop down menu choose uh, the sticky bar you saved previously. Uh, here are the three ones that I saved earlier. Let me choose this one for example. And what this does is it adds this cool sticky bar to the website. And let me choose the other two I've saved. You can uh, save all of them and see how each one of them looks like. It's really cool, right? And there are other options as well. You can choose between top and bottom position for the sticky bar. There we go, now it's set to the bottom. I can stick it again to the top as well. You can display the sticky bar only when the user tries to leave the page or you can show the bar only when user scrolls to the certain point of of your website you can also add a time delay for example three seconds until the sticky bar is shown so one two three there we go also you can set a number until the sticky bar is shown to the user again after he closes it so if someone clicks the close button and he doesn't want to see the sticky bar uh, this is a time that will pass until the sticky bar is shown again. And of course, you can customize how, this, how any of these sticky bar looks like. You can do that if you go to Divi Library. And let me show you that. Go to Divi, Divi Library, click any of these uh, layouts. And using the Divi Page Builder, you can customize how it looks like you can edit all of these modules that are inside the section. That's it, I hope you like it and thanks for watching.